at Egyptian Appeals Court, has imposed a two-year prison sentence against the women's rights activist Damo Fafi, who criticized the authorities for failing to tackle sexual harassment. Fafi was charged with spreading fake news in May after posting a video in which she recounted her experiences. She was handed a two-year jail term by a lower court in September, but it was suspended pending an appeal. The appeal ruling came days after she was freed on bail over a separate case. Her husband Mohamed Lotfi, head of the Independent Egyptian Commission for Rights and Freedoms, said she could be taken back into detention at any time. Fadi, a three-four-year-old mother of one, is a former activist in the April 6th youth movement that was at the forefront of the 2011 uprising against the former president, Hosni Mubarak. She was arrested in Cairo two days after posting a one-two-minute video on Facebook in which she described how she had been sexually harassed twice in one day and condemned the government's failure to protect women. She also criticized deteriorating human rights, socio-economic conditions and public services. Fadi was convicted four months later of spreading fake news that harms national security. A judge sentenced her to two years in prison that could be suspended until a penal pending payment of $1.120. 885 in bail and a $560 fine. Despite paying the bail and fine, she was kept in custody because she faced a trial on separate charges, including belonging to a terrorist group. Mr. Lotfi said they were not aware what the charges related to. Last Thursday, Fadi was released on probation after a judge in the capital accepted. Her appeal against her pre-trial detention in relation to the terrorism case. But on Sunday, an appeals court upheld her two-year sentence for spreading fake news a decision Amnesty International called an outrageous injustice. The fact that a survivor of sexual harassment is being punished with a two-year prison sentence simply for speaking out about her experience. It's utterly disgraceful, said Nadia Bonane, the human rights group's North Africa campaign's director. A popular tourist attraction has become the latest Chinese company to show solidarity with Hu Awa's chief finance officer, Meng Wanzhou, who was arrested in Canada on 1 December. Shannon Mountain Scenic Park in eastern Hainan province said it would make the $9.40. 65 yuan ticket fee for anyone carrying a Huawei phone. Miss Man, who was given bail in Canada, faces extradition to the United States on charges of breaking Iran sanctions. Her case has up tensions with China. Use Huawei phones, shoot grand photos on the mountain. A notice on the Shannon Park's social media account said, We wish friends around the world. Whose part who are ways of success and bliss. The offer would last until 29 December, the South China Morning Post reported. But it was met with some criticism among China's social media users, who claimed it was discriminatory. Who are way full owners are being offered other enticements to They can get a 20% discount at a border in Beijing. Seen in Beijing. Bring a Huawei phone and get 20% off. Similar to this story we covered yesterday. HTTPS, T, Co, Q, X, L, 1, 9, Y, P, Q, L, P, Twitter, Com, Soccer, Love, End of Twitter post by Atlu Ocean G. At least one firm has threatened to penalize anyone buying Apple products. A few days ago, Manpada Shenzhen, based the lead and display manufacturer offered. Subsidies to any employees buying Huawei phones. It also pledged to fine anyone who bought an Apple iPhone. United States prosecutors, alleged misman. 46.
used the Huawei subsidiary called Skycom to evade sanctions on Iran between 2009 and 2014. They also alleged she publicly misrepresented Skycom as being a separate company from Huawei, and that she deceived banks about the true relationship between the two companies. Ms. Mann, who is the daughter of Huawei's founder, has denied any wrongdoing and said she will contest the allegations. Life of Huawei's high-flying errors The United States has been investigating the Chinese telecoms giant, the world's second-largest smartphone maker, since 2016, believing that it used Skycom to bring United States manufacturing equipment and millions of dollars in transactions to Iran in violation of sanctions. Ms. Man's detention comes amid an increasingly acrimonious trade dispute between Washington and Beijing. China is angry at her detention, saying she has not violated any laws. Beijing has threatened severe consequences unless Canada releases the executive since her arrest. Two Canadians, a former diplomat and a businessman, have been detained in China on suspicion of harming national security. United States President Donald Trump said last week that he might interview in the United States Justice Department's case against Ms. Mann if it would serve national security interests or help achieve a trade deal with China. If I think it's good for what will be certainly the largest trade deal ever made which is a very important thing, what's good for national security? I would certainly intervene if I thought it was necessary, he told Reuters news agency. Canada reacted by urging Mr. Trump not to politicize the situation. Our extradition partners should not seek to politicize the extradition process. Are you set for ends other than the pursuit of justice? Foreign Minister Christy of Freeland said, a popular tourist attraction has become the latest Chinese company to show solidarity with Huawei's chief finance officer, Meng Wanzhou, who was arrested in Canada on 1 December. Shannon Mountain Scenic Park in eastern Hainan province said it would waive the $9.40 65 yuan ticket fee for anyone carrying a Huawei phone. Miss Man, who was given bail in Canada, faces extradition to the United States on charges of breaking Iran sanctions. Her case has up tensions with China. Use Huawei phones, shoot grand photos on the mountain, a notice on the Shannon Park's social media account said, We wish friends around the world, who support Huawei success and bliss. The offer would last until 29 December. The South China Morning Post reported, but it was met with some criticism among China's social media users, who claimed it was discriminatory. Who are way full owners are being offered other enticements to They can get a 20% discount at a board in Beijing. Seen in Beijing, bring a who are way full and get 20% off. Similar to this story we covered yesterday HTTPS T. CoQXL19YPQLPIC Twitter Comsoccer Love End of Twitter post by Atlu Ocean G At least one firm has threatened to penalize anyone buying Apple products. A few days ago, Manpada Shenzhen, based legend display manufacturer offered subsidies to any employees buying Huawei phones. It also pledged to fine anyone who bought an Apple iPhone. United States prosecutors, a large businessman, 46, used the Huawei subsidiary called Skycom to evade sanctions on Iran between 2009 and 2014. They also alleged she publicly misrepresented Skycom as being a separate company from Huawei and that she deceived banks about the true relationship between the two companies. Ms. Man, who is the daughter of Huawei's founder, has denied any wrongdoing and said she will contest the allegations. Life of Huawei's high-flying errors.
the United States has been investigating the Chinese telecoms giant, the world's second largest smartphone maker, since 2016, believing that it used the Skycom to bring United States manufacturing equipment and millions of dollars in transactions to Iran in violation of sanctions.